Hi again, Jamie Chapman with 3 Minute Histology. Today we're going to be talking about something which may not get discussed very often, but which is a really important thing for students, first time histologists, to, to recognize and then completely ignore. So what the heck are we going to be talking about? Well, today we're going to be talking about artifacts. Not Indiana Jones artifacts. We're going to be talking about errors introduced in the processing of tissues for microscopy and uh, how you, you can recognize them and uh, how you can ignore them. So recognizing them is the first important part, ignoring them is the second important part when you're doing histology. So artifacts, notice the spelling with the E, not I, that's the sort that uh, Indiana Jones is looking for. Here we're looking for errors in processing uh, for microscopy. All right, so let's start uh, three minutes. So artifacts, as I mentioned, are errors introduced to cells and tissues uh, as a result of processing for microscopy. So when we get um, tissues for microscopy or organs, uh, we need to first fix them with uh, usually a chemical fixative, which tends to cause clumping of proteins and introducing slight errors there. Then we need to dehydrate, so remove all the water from those cells and tissues, and that can, tends to cause shrinking. And then we need to embed it into paraffin, and then we need to section it, and sometimes those knives aren't perfect and we end up with little scratch marks on our sections and then we need to um, put it onto a slide we need to stain it and then we need to put it a little bit of glue on the top and put a little glass cover slip on the surface and things may jump in the way in in that processing uh, stage so there are a number of different errors which may crop up a number of different artifacts which may appear and this slide unfortunately uh, which we've been using for looking at staining has a number of those present now the one that really sticks out first of all I think is this here over here we have this little uh, bit of thread so whoever was processing this slide for microscopy um, probably had a little bit of thread on their clothes or their lab coat and that's fallen off and fallen into the glue that we've used to, to put the cover slip on and so we've got this little foreign body artifact over here a little another one over here so sometimes you can get little threads and hairs and things popping up the second one which really sticks out even at this low magnification are these really dark striped areas on this outer layer of the smooth muscle. These are actually part of the tissue. This is actually part of the section. If we zoom in a little bit more, it's actually folded over. You can actually see that this bit of tissue is actually folded over when it was placed onto the slide. And then because we've got double the amount of uh, stained tissue here, it looks like these little stripes. So these aren't actually part of this tissue. And uh, as a histologist, you need to recognize that these structures here, these are actually artifacts. So these are called fold artifacts. Another big artifact which is present here is a, an artifact which we call shrinkage artifacts. So as I mentioned, one of the processing uh, stages is dehydration. Uh, when we dehydrate, remove the water, tissues tend to shrink a little bit and often the tissues separate from each other. So this here is actually should be attached to this part of the smooth muscle out here. So this is connective tissue and that should be connected to the muscle tissue out here. But through processing, it's caused a bit of shrinkage artifact. And so we've got this big white space. So again, if you're a histologist, you would naturally assume that in the natural system, this connective tissue would be connected to this muscle tissue. The last type of artifact I wanted to talk about is this, we can see here, you see these stripes? These are actually imperfections in the um, metal blade when we sectioned our tissue and they've introduced these uh, score errors or uh, knife mark errors uh, and these are another type of artifact which may appear in, in histological slides. Again, another part of interpreting these slides which you need to be able to ignore. So hopefully you can um, use this identification of these errors called artifacts and then begin to interpret them and ignore those type of artifacts.